Welcome to Temple Bethel Israel. We're pleased that you have chosen to join us for Shabbat. Noticing that there are some differences these days. You can sit at home with your feet up and watch and participate. Feel free to sing, to read out loud. We start as always by blessing our homes, our families, and our community. just a moment and offer a blessing to those you love, to those you know and to those you don't, to those who need our help and our prayers. Whether we agree or not, we're all on God's earth together, and we only succeed when we all succeed. set up Shabbat candles, we welcome the light of Shabbat. As you light the first candle, remember to repeat the word Shamor, to guard, one of the first words of the Ten Commandments, Shamor et Yom HaShabbat, to guard the day of Shabbat. When you light the second candle, you remind yourself by using the word Zachor, which means to remember, because if you guard the Shabbat, you will remember it. And if you remember it, you will guard it. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher ekidishanu b'mitzvotav it's the Ivanu, the Hadli Kner, the Hadli Kner, Shel Shabbat. Shabbat 
Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there, except by joining hands, marching together. Thank you. 
the central portion of our prayer. I commend you to look at the English if the Hebrew that is being chanted is not uh, easy for you at this point. The more services you attend, the easier it will become. But I ask you, look at the English. See what is being sung. See what we are asking Adonai, our God, to give us. They are not just idle words. They are the central portion of what we pray for in every service. Adonai, sifetai tiftach, 
tu fia chi ti la cessa. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu velohei avoteinu v'imoteinu. Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov. Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora, el elyon, gomel chasadim tovim v'kone ha'kol. Yisokher chasdei avot v'imahot, v'mei v'gula v'ibnei v'neihem, l'ma'an shemo v'ahava. Melecho zeru moshia v'magein, baruch atadonai, my gain of Raham, the Ezrat Sarah. A tagi bulla a la mano nai, Mechaye ha col ata brabdo shia, Mecha kel faim bechesed, Mechaye ha col bir rachamim rabim, So mech no clean bir ofe cholim, Umatir asurim. Umekayim emunato lishenei apar nichamocha ba'al giburot umito melach melech memini tu mechaye umatzmiach Yeshua v'neeman ata lehachayot hakol baruch ata donai. We continue through the 18 benedictions in silence. Take the Englishes to heart.
spiritual or emotional in these days of COVID-19 that pretty much includes all of us and so we pray tonight not just for others but for ourselves as well remember the names <laughs> because he wants to remind them at this final moment, this pinnacle moment, what God will do when they betray their God. You notice I said when, not if. There is no question that once the Israelites get into the promised land, they will, given all of the opportunities that exist in the promised land, they will betray God. Moses wants to, with his last dialogue with them, he wants to tell them, here's what God will do. On the other hand, keep in mind that with all we have done, that was not right, that was not in worshipful behaviors, that was not in fealty to our God, God always became forgiven. So, we see that this poem is built on parallels. If you read through it, you'll see one line says heaven, the next line says earth, then the next line will talk about the word discourse, and the next line will talk about speech. And 
There are all of these parallels throughout the poem. It is a formulaic that happens throughout uh, the Torah in a number of places. And it's an important piece of the puzzle. Why? Because our lives too are built on parallels. We do something good, we do something not so good. We stare down something that we dislike, and yet we look away from something that we are okay with if it suits our purpose. And so we deal with our lives in parallels, but our opportunity, particularly during this week between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, is to say, what can we do to avoid these parallels where we become more like one line as opposed to two lines that run side by side and where we run back and forth like this in between so that we choose the good, we choose the better, we choose the more right and we become more like God's people, needing fewer reminders of what it takes and that those reminders come from us as individuals internally so that we perhaps, if we do it right, need just fewer reminders. And in my mind, the fewer reminders we need, the stronger our connection to the God that we come together to pray to in the synagogue. And so, I suggest, if you have time this week, to open up to the end of Deuteronomy. You'll see it. It's in uh, parallel uh, lines, and parallel columns, uh, sort of like, in some ways, other parts of the Torah, where they want to make a very definitive statement, and so they say, ooh, it doesn't look like the rest of the Torah. This is the last utterances of Moses. It's not supposed to look like everything else. And so, as we go forward with Yom Kippur just two nights away, I beseech you, oh, I call to you, begin the process of taking the two parallels and bringing them together and making one stronger line that leads you forward in behavior, in caring, in concern, in caring about others, because in the end, we are all God's children. May it be so, and may we stand before God two nights from tonight and thank God for the opportunity to envision and to live change. Can you hear that song? May it be so. Amen. And now we continue with Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol L'atet kidul al yotzer p'reshit Shalo asanu kegoye ha'aratzot Velo samanu k'mish p'chot ha'adama Shalo sam chelkenu k'ahem Vigor aleinu k'cho ha'monam V'anachnu k'orim Mishtachadim umodim Lifne melech malachi amlachim Hakadosh baruch hu Shehuno teshemayim biyoser aretz Umoshad yikaro bashemayim mima'al Ushchin atuzo, ushchin atuzo Begobe miromim Ahu Eloheinu ain od Emet malkeinu, epes 
Sulato, Kakatu, Bitorato, Beata Tayum, Beata Tayum, Bashi Bota, Eliva Deca, Ki Adonai, who are Elohim, Basha Mahim, Mima, the Aretz, the Thus it has been said, Adonai will be sovereign over all the earth. On that day, Adonai will be one, and God's name will be one. We take a moment as we sadly announce the passing during the past week of our fellow congregant and past president, Dr. Gary Oxman. May his name be for a blessing. We send our condolences to his family. We now spend a moment in silence as we will remember those whose yard sites occurred this weekend, all those taken by the hand of the oppressor and over one and a half million children of the Holocaust for whom we are responsible to recite Kaddish in perpetuity. We read in silence. Yet Gedal di et Gedash Shmei Rabba, the Almadi Brach Chirute, the Omichma Chute, the Chaye Chon, the Yome Chon, the Chaye de Chol, Beit Yisrael, the Agala Uvis Mankari, the Muru, Amen. Yehe Shmei Rabba Mevarach, the Olam Ulal Mer Maya. Yet a dar yet a levy at a lalsh made the kucha, the yahu, the elam in kolbir hatavi shirata, Joshbehata in a chamata, the amidamba al mavi ru amen, the hey shalom or rabam in shemaya, the chayim alayu the al kol yisrael di muru amen, O se shalom in Roma, who ya a se shalom, alayu the al kol yisrael di imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say, Amen. of our community and the magic of our God. Voila! Chala! Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Amoti lechem min ha'aretz Bless our lives, our children, and our families. Bless all of those who have lost their way. 
Bring peace to all who seek a world of beauty. Give blessings, God, to all these today. Amen. Amen. May God bless this house with love. Amen. Amen. May God bless this house. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.